det är han som står med det ansvar bakom det är det jävla tomte. Mm. Hello. Davy, hi Jonathan, how are you? I'm good. I'm good, thank you. Good, good, thank you. Yeah, I think it's not, it's not on there, it's just you there. Okay. The um, just for sound on our side, so just so that I, I, I get it, Jonathan, it's you and I having the conversation, am I right? That is correct. That is correct. Okay. I will also be in the conversation. Uh, okay, so we're getting a bit of reverb here on our end. Yeah, we, we are trying to solve that part. It's an echo. Matthias, hi. Yeah. Hi. 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 Yeah, so, do you hear me and Jonathan now? Jonathan, if you speak. Yeah, there's no reverb well? now. Okay, so just so that I'm clear, because this is television, which is a little bit different from doing a radio interview, and, and I make sure the pictures look good. Can I suggest this? We do the interviews one on one. We normally only interview one person per company. That, that's how it works generally. If you watch most television programs, um, can I do a suggestion? You decide between the two of you who is going to do the interview, and if you want to do pickups after that, I'm more than willing for us for you guys to write a list down and we pick it up. So, sorry, but we, we uh, you know that it's the summer holiday period and uh, we have been able to get the answers on the questions that you have been sending over for us and we need to, to, to try because we don't have the top management available. So Jonathan and I need to do this together to be able to answer the different questions in the correct way so you get the best answers you want. Okay, that is unusual. Yeah, <laughs> I fully understand that, but it's also unusual to, to take an interview uh, on under the mid of the vacation period. And I know you have the same type of period in December in South Africa, so it's uh, it's uh, it, it has to be that way that we are uh, mutually in, in it. And we could have one picture with both of us sitting in. That is fine with us. Uh, or we do it like this, that you have pictures. And I, I guess that your staff is... Uh, more than capable of uh, uh, using the pictures from this video that you can put into the um, uh, to the show one by one because it's not live anyway okay so um, we're not going to argue about this I just need to get the answers anyway but I just want to make a point I think if you're a global company and you guys may be having holiday on your side and if you marketing whatever you're marketing in South Africa, then you need to be cognizant of the fact that unfortunately we're not on holiday right now. No. So I'm happy. I'm happy for whatever's going to just Let me see technically, guys, would it work if we have both their pictures on the one screen? Would that work? I think it might be Come and have a sound, look. But if it's sound, if people don't talk over each other like that. Yeah. yeah. That's fine. So if we put both the pictures on the one screen, then can we just leave a slight delay so that we don't speak over each other and then it, it looks, the quality is fantastic there. Are you, got both of you in the same room? We are both in the same room right now, if you look at this. Yeah, if you sit closer together, maybe we can yeah, do that. Yeah, I don't know how social like distancing works on your end. Let Let's try. try. It first. Just move. We, we try to, to move here so we could sit together like this. There we go. Closer. Just get a little bit closer. Or then, or then just move the screen back. Or move the screen away. Is this fine? And then I'm, yeah, and then the I'm going to ask you, there's, like a, there's a light fitting that's popping out of your head. Can you move it out? You want to move yeah, it's one? behind you. Yeah? Yeah, just... Um, okay, we'll do that. We don't have a studio yeah. in the, where we're sitting right now, so it's, uh, sorry for the background. No, that's fine. I, I just wanted that lamp out of your head. So that looks, let me see what else. We could, and then can you tilt towards you so I have less headroom? There we go. Much better. Wow. Yeah. Becoming good at this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Uh, have a look, guys. I'm happy with this. I think this is, this is neat and professional and looks really lovely. Okay, cool. All right. So, so what we'll do is so that it's smooth and it goes quickly. Remember, long answers are going to end up being edited. So long answers, not a good idea. Just try to keep it as succinct as possible. And we won't talk over each other. We'll just keep a couple of seconds.
from the last person uh, after the last person has ended and then it will all be good yeah, yeah. Uh, and i think we will try to answer uh, the questions one by one so it's not that we're answering the uh, one question two of us so it's more that we we have different areas where we're working with you, Jonathan and me. That's the reason why we want to be both here. Okay, that, oh, that will make my life a lot easier. Yeah. So while you are talking, the table is moving or the laptop is doing a slight something or the other. Let me just have a look. So Let, just let's count wait, wait one second. We, could take the, yeah. another, we, need, we need another box because that box is, that was an empty box and this is a fill box. I think that will be a difference if now? we... Okay, just count for me, please, any of you, so I can see if there's a vibration. Yeah, but if we move a little bit back and we take the, those things and we don't touch the table, then it will be stable. That will work. And then on your shoulder in the back, there's some papers that's left there behind you. Can you just move that? There's Sorry, nothing. guys, I see all these things. No, but that's yeah, great. Please. We don't see them, so it's great that you do it. Yeah. Okay, so let's sit how you're going to sit, and I just want to make sure everything is neat and pretty. Okay, I'm happy. Uh, happy, guys? Happy. happy? Okay, let's go. Okay, so, so just for our records, if you can give me your full name and surname and your position within the company. So my name is Jonathan Strom. I work as the chief of the African expansion. And my name is Johan Westerdahl, and I'm the... Chief Operating Officer. Okay, great. Both of you are happy to do this interview, right? I didn't force you into doing it. <laughs> no, but it's, it's great to be able to uh, speak our mind. It's been a lot of uh, negative publicity lately. Uh, there's a lot of misinformation, uh, a lot of slander in the media as well. So, of course, we're happy to be able to give the correct information and to be able to assist our members that we have worldwide and, and of course especially in South Africa. So what products is Crowd1 marketing and how do you basically derive your revenue? Crowd1 is uh, selling five products at the moment, all coming from third party suppliers. Uh, we have the e-learning packages, we have the magazine that's a li global lifestyle magazine. We have Life Trends, that is a booking portal for hotels, cruises, resorts, that is uh, very similar to Hotels.com or to Expedia. We have Safer, a safety app for the South Af African market, the largest of our markets. And we have uh, Tribute, a lifestyle uh, product supplier for the Nigerian market. And, uh, and the, the company and the, um, the affiliates uh, make the earnings from the margins from the sales from the product sales and all these products do they exist on online platforms are they all on online platforms they are uh, uh, on online platforms some are all rolled out to the affiliates at the moment and some are uh, rolling out uh, within the next couple of uh, weeks here how much do they cost uh, it's very uh, different the the magazine is uh, a euro if it's the digital version, uh, it's three euros if it's the uh, the printed edition. And we have products, I mean, if you talk about hotels uh, that people can book, that could be very expensive if you take an expensive hotel in an expensive town in the world. Yeah, so I need to just come in with this. Um, who's traveling right now? Because we're kind of locked in here. I mean, the, the situation is that we started to plan our product launches long before we knew anything about the COVID-19. That's also a reason why some of the products had taken longer time than we uh, was aiming for. But at the moment we are rolling out and we see enormous positive trends for uh, what you call hemester or uh, in Swedish to stay vacation, uh, to stay in your local area, to take a vacation, take a night on a hotel or something like that. So that product is pretty big with the number of 100,000 registered just within the few first weeks of the, since it was launched. So like I live in Johannesburg and I do a staycation in a hotel in Johannesburg. Yeah, you can do that. And I can do That's a one in mean. Stockholm, in Sweden then. Yeah, so you, you just stay in another place in the city that you're in and you're seeing there's an uptake. In yeah. terms of the magazine, I mean, what kind of African content do you have? We have stories from the total globe, uh, success stories from 
uh, the the business we are in, but also stories, uh, lifestyle stories from different areas and trends, global trends. Um, we can say we can show that later. So you said there's a hundred thousand on the booking platform now. It's a um, it's a number a of hundred thousand that has registered. Uh, to be able to use the the booking platform, the la the few first weeks that since we launched. So you launched the booking platform recently. Yeah. We and launched wonderful. it the fourth of July, and it has been rolling out. So now all affiliates globally has been able to to register. And if you look at the other four products, when were those launched? The e-learning was launched when the company was uh, founded early last year. The magazine was launched. Um, beginning of this year and uh, then the safer and the tribute is uh, products that has been launched to the open market and with our uh, special deals it will be launched within the next coming days uh, weeks so the safety app and preview in other words that's what you're talking about that's going to be launched in the future in the next couple of weeks yeah we have told other words, the, we are told the network yeah. about them we are open with them and then we are coming with new products that will be launched during the rest of the year, other types of products. So, yeah, so let me get this straight. Of the five products that you currently have, two of them are coming in the future. One was launched on the 1st of July and the other two has been around one since last year and the other one since January of this year. Yeah, but you need to understand when we launch a product like uh, Safer or uh, Life Trends, we can't roll out because we have so many independent affiliates around the globe. We can't roll them out in once because we will, uh, our own service will not be able to cope with it. The service from the companies will not be able to cope with it. So we need to launch this step by step to get it uh, rolled out in a professional way to secure the, uh, that they're working, that the, the people get what they want from it. So it's a, it's a process. We have launched them. Everyone knows they're coming. But then now we have launched so all people has been able to register and come into the life trend system. Uh, now we're going over and starting with the safer app, uh, launching that one. And when that is done to the total crowd, we will launch the next product. And before that is done, we will have uh, officially announced the next coming product. So do you, as a person, do I then buy um are there any kinds of package costs then if I want to buy a membership? How does that work? There is no uh, starter fee. There is no sign up fee. You join free and you can start uh, gaining from the system as a free affiliate, as we call it. Uh, but I need to be a member of Crowd1 first, right? You need to register. Yeah. You need to and register to be able to, to gain from it. But you don't need to pay anything. It's a free uh affiliate ship or membership to to these particular packages but if i'm a crowd one member do i get a discount on the packages the the deal with the um, for instance safer is that you get a better price for the app if you uh, join via uh, crowd one uh, to use the, the app than the the public does is it a significant difference though versus me as an ordinary member or versus me as a crowd one member because if i'm with crowd one i would want a very big discount because otherwise it doesn't make sense uh the the you first of all you get a better discount and uh, we have been open with that uh, on the launch event of the 4th of june that 20 percent of the total margin on the product is handed out as a customer discount so you get 20% of the margin on the product as a customer, as a discount. Then the rest is distributed into the, um, into the crowd, into the network as sales commission. So if you are, in, if you are an affiliate, you both get a better price and you earn uh, from the, the total sales, the total revenue that we have on, on products. Explain the property packages. I heard there was some kind of property package, and I'm probably using the wrong word here, but it's something that a package that's part of yeah. e-learning maybe that makes you smarter in terms of property investments. Yeah, sure. So uh, this is one of the e-learnings that we offer. Uh, and these ones are 
something which is a great start to get some um, you know basic understanding and then to further develop the the skills to be able to take advantage of the real estate uh, industry or the real estate business but also to better understand the the current situation uh, people uh, um, they have properties so they are all you know tend to live in properties not everyone of course can afford to buy a property I'm definitely aware of that after been living quite some time uh, abroad and also in Sweden it is uh, but it's a good step in a direction to better understand this type of business because it's it's very fascinating and does it take into account the the laws in different countries in terms of property law it's, or is it just it's one a, it's it's a broader uh, type of uh, education you get the more the basic information it's not done for the specific countries so you get a basic understanding about properties and how this is working in general terms why is recruitment such an important element of crowd one uh, it's it's not a especially important uh, thing for crowd one uh, this is a thing that is common for all mlm companies all over the world it's also something that you see in basically any other company working with any type of business. You want to have referral uh, customers. You want to have recurring customers. You want people to uh, talk good about your company and recommend the company to, company to someone else. Why are you not licensed with the relevant authorities in South Africa? Uh, sorry, which one do you refer to? Uh, the FSB to start off with. Uh, I mean, we are uh, registered with all the relevant authorities that is needed for the business that we are conducting. We are not selling any type of financial products. We're not selling any type of financial services. We're not giving any type of investment opportunity. We are an online networking marketing company. So can you tell me who you are registered with in South Africa that allows your business to be legal here? Uh, we are 100% incorporated. What does that mean? We are incorporated with the tax returns. We're incorporated with the uh, local authorities, but we don't need to be registered for uh, selling financial products since we are not selling financial products. So then what's your response to the various investigations in South Africa around Crowd1? Which one are you referring to? I'm referring specifically to financial services. There's also talk about the Consumer Commission and the Council. Sure. So we are in contact with these ones. Uh, we are in, in contact with them to inform them about the business, uh, to clarify the misunderstandings. Uh, we have a good conversation so far uh, and there has not been any updates from their side. So over, over the last, uh, I would say, 20 days or something, we have been in contact with them. Have you been in contact with the South African Reserve Bank? Because they are also investigating Crowd1. Sure. According to our um, um, lawyers, uh, they are under the same type of affiliates as the financial department. So we're in contact with those ones. The FSC. Yeah, I could, I could be wrong here, but it's a big deal if the South African Reserve Bank is investigating you independently. And that's apart from the Consumer Commission because it's the Reserve Bank. Yeah, yeah. as I mentioned, since we're not dealing with any type of financial products, financial services or investment opportunities. We are more than happy to clarify all the misunderstandings about this. So we are in contact with the relevant authorities. Uh, we, be, we have been approaching them instead of waiting for them to approaching us. How do the tiers work? Because I've asked a few people and maybe they aren't able to explain it, but I don't understand it. So in a short answer, can you explain to me how do the various tiers work? So tiers. tiers. Can you clarify? Sorry. Level. Levels. I'm using the wrong word here again. The different <laughs> levels. So you uh, join as a member and then you meant to work yourself up some kind of elevation. All, all affiliates are uh, affiliate uh, affiliates. Um, there is something that we call network levels. And that is. Yes, white titanium. No, that's that, right. That's, no. 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 <laughs> okay. That that is uh, something uh, around the the size of the uh, e-learning package that you were referring to earlier. What type of e-learning you have uh, been buying? So that is uh, 
uh, not a, a level in that sense. Okay. So fin finish your answer. You were explaining to me and just working out my vocabulary because I'm getting the terms wrong. Just explain to me then how does it work? So another word for tiers, another word for levels. Now we have we have something that we call network levels, and that is mm -hmm. uh, something that you can gain when you are referring people and building up a, a team, a business where you could then refer products through and then get uh, uh, the commission from that part compensated. I mean, it, it's very, um, I would say, similar to any other company. So you have people, if you're good at your job, you will be rewarded. So if you're able to then have a lot of product sales, of course, you will then earn the commission based on the compensation plan as with any other company. So Norway has declared Crowd1 a pyramid scheme. How did you react when you heard that? First of all about Norway, it's not true and it's, it's a lie. Norway has not declared uh, Crowd1 anything. Uh, it's just the letter they have sent out. It's just an informal information letter stating the rules of Norway. And there has been no investigation going on in Norway at all. Why would they do that? Because it does come across like perhaps they do have a problem with Crowd1. No, they do that to all companies uh, that is uh, in the restrict close to the restriction area and where they get questions about. So they send it out. Uh, I've seen that to other companies I've been working for before, etc. So it's, it's not very uncommon that the Norwegian authorities does that. And what's the story with the Bank of Namibia then? Was it just also a friendly letter? Uh, I mean, we have been in contact with the Bank of Namibia. Uh, we've been in contact with different authorities uh, in Africa and in other regions uh, to explain what we're doing. Uh, for me, this, this comes back to, uh, I mean, at the moment, there are tons of articles written about how we are then a Ponzi scheme, how we are uh, doing the wrong things back and forward. Uh, I would uh, be extremely interested to know if it was possible to 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 see what where these ones are coming from and why we see them now. Um, we are explaining everything in the best possible way. Uh, so we're in contact with these ones. Uh, for me, it's about the misunderstanding. Uh, and we, of course, need to look at ourselves to see what uh, we can do better to improve our communication. But they, as far as the Bank of Namibia is concerned, does that still stand where they basically declared Crowd1 as a pyramid scheme? Does that still stand? I mean, we are in contact with these authorities. Uh, we've been trying to get the report which they based this on. Uh, we have not received anything. Uh, so we are in contact with different authorities the whole time to explain uh, everything about what we're doing. Uh, of course, due to the COVID-19 as well, it's been tricky to, to travel. Uh, we've been sending emails to uh, some places, but not be been able to receive feedback. So it's, it's uh, something that we will continue to, of course, work on to make sure that we are sorting out all these type of misunderstandings from different parts of the world. Why is it important for you that you expand within Africa? Uh, it's not important for us. It's, uh, it's everything that happened in Crowd1 so far is built on organic growth. Uh, so we have not been pushing any specific regions. Uh, it just tends to be that there are some really fantastic people uh, who's been spreading the, uh, the news about Crowd1 and then been able to uh, build big networks and sell the products uh, in Africa, but also other parts of the world. So myself, I've been living in, in Africa and in Nigeria for the last seven years. And when you are, uh, when I came to Nigeria, I realized quite quick that people here are amazing and they are really pushing. They want to do something and they're born to be salespeople. So I'm not surprised that we are growing a lot in Africa because there are a lot of people who are hungry for these type of products. How, in your own words, do you believe you are adding value and more importantly, wealth? Because Africa is an impoverished country. There's not a lot to go around. No, but as we have said earlier, I mean, we are serving a possibility, a toolbox with the products, with the system where people could, if they're working hard, earn money, they could build up their own business. And that is the same as for most of all MLM companies or direct selling companies around the world. 
Uh, and especially in this time with the COVID, we, where people are starting to look for other work, for other places for income, uh, our business is uh, prospering and we are, this spring has been enormous with the number of people coming in that we couldn't see coming when we uh, ended last year. And I, I must say that we are seeing that together with all the fantastic people, our affiliates, we are building a huge community, a huge business with the new products coming in that is serving them, gaining them income, and we are bringing a lot of wealth into the system. So let's talk about the income. Um, I've spoken to a few people. Some of them are giving me examples of where they've put in an amount of, say, 2,000 Rand around about February, March of this year, and then received anything between 20 South African cents and a maximum of 14 Rand. So how does that work out? What could have gone wrong there? Because I'm, I'm, I'm not saying seeing I mean, lifting a nation this, yet. This goes back to what we discussed before, what we are and what we're not. Uh, we are not an investment opportunity. We are not selling financial products or any type of financial services. We are selling a product. Uh, we have a compensation plan where people can earn commission if they are hardworking and they're good at what they're doing. It's, it's quite simple in that case. So in terms of the products in itself, so this is what I'm hearing. What I'm hearing is um, Crowd1 has been around since last year. Your launch was in South Africa in November last year. You launched, people started putting money in, and then you're coming with the products. Mm, that's not the case, right? Because we, we have been having this e-learning uh, from the beginning. People are buying the educational packages. Uh, I how think it, fantastic are these products? I, I just need to understand, even from an e-learning point of view, how amazing is it? Because you can Google a lot of things and perhaps Google a lot of information that's very specific to the country you live in. So if you want to find out about investing in property, you can do that. So how wow is your product that I need to get a general understanding of investment? I, I would say that you could Google most of all uh, knowledge you want to Google if you're capable of doing that in a way and it will take you a lot of time if you look at the e-learning product independently more or less of all e-learning products globally they are uh, a way of uh, combining putting all the things into one place so it's easy for you to to connect easy to to get the knowledge easy to to take in the knowledge and use the knowledge and that is the unique thing with all education independently of the e-learning of its training in school somebody has gathered all the information and that is uh, what we could say about our e-learning packages why is it when you talk to people uh, who are part of crowd one they never ever talk about the products they just talk about money that's been put in yeah i mean that is maybe potentially then something that we need to be uh, taking a look at maybe we need to improve in our communication because it's it's extremely clear in our terms and condition uh, in what we are doing and what we're not doing and all these documents are in the back office for each of the different people uh, they need to read and they need to understand the terms and condition uh, as with any other company and I think what what is happening right now is that uh, crowd is changing an in industry uh, I think we are uh, similar to you know what happened with Uber where, where people were demonstrating and protesting against uh, Uber coming into non country and taking a lot of uh, job opportunities for taxi drivers so of course there so you are... see yourself as a disruptor yeah of course we are. Yeah. are any of the courses accredited which one sorry any any like your e-learning are any of the courses via the e-learning platform accredited and with whom it's uh, they are not credited you don't, will not get a certification from, from them So why will I want it? Because it gives you, as Joanne was explaining before, it's combining the information, but you, of course you can find some of the information online because you can find most of the information online. But this is a gather uh, information in a book that gives you a good start to better understand this. Uh, and of course we are continuously going to work on improving all of our different products, add more value into each of them, uh, definitely. But I think this is a great start for anyone. Why are you not a pyramid scheme in your own mind? 
because no none of the revenue is coming from the sign up process everything is coming from the product sales as simple as that you know guys i don't think i'm a stupid person i really don't i, I can understand i've got an mba i don't understand how this works i have no idea i have spent nights trying to figure out how it works when some of the packages cost like 45000 i'm not seeing it i don't get it if i get it i'll be in have you read it read it 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 it's so confusing and i always say if you're going to maybe invest is the wrong word but if you're going to dial in then you need to be able to explain how it works very simply to a relative or a friend and i can't do that so that must mean i'm stupid right <laughs> Definitely no. not. Uh, I mean, I think as we've been discussing before as well, if this is something that is unclear, of course, we need to work on the communication uh, because in our terms and condition, it's extremely clear what we are doing and what we're not doing. Uh, we have our products, the revenue and the profit is shared in the network with uh, based on the compensation plan. There, there, so is a, there is a business presentation. Egg, right? yeah. Sorry, there is a business presentation presenting the company that is something around uh, twenty-five to thirty slides. So uh, it's a bit longer than this interview to to take you through it. But uh, we will happily yeah. do it to give you the, all the, uh, the the information and the the feeling for how the business uh, is working. If you could, if you could send that to us, that would be fantastic. And then I'll give it another step to try and under, understand how how it works. But just a very quick one from my side. Um, if I were to look at just the product range as it stands now, the five products that you mentioned, and it is the chicken and egg argument of which one comes first. In my mind, before you market anything, you need a product because then you tell people what you're doing. What I'm seeing here is products being developed as we go along after people put money in am mm. i right am i wrong we had the e-learning product from day one the magazine came and we were uh, around new year we were less than one million people affiliates now we are over seven okay. million so it has been going very very quickly we have been delayed because of the covid 19 with the product launches and uh, we but we are working all the time on the products and um, if we don't have enough people in the crowd we don't uh, attract the right companies to be partners with us if we weren't as big as we are in south africa safer would never have been interesting to work together with us if we weren't as big as we are globally life trends would never be interesting to work with us so it's 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 really the the hen and the egg uh, discussion here and in this case, yes, uh, you need to have a mixture of both, but they need to come side by side. We had a much faster growth on the affiliate numbers, the crowd numbers, than we were looking for during this spring. And that meant that at the moment we have a bit of dip in the, in the balance in between them. But if you wait, I would say a few months more, we will definitely have a global range of products we, uh, combined with a local range of products that is definitely balancing this thing, even if we would be 10, 15 million of people. Okay, so you're clear about that. Yeah. The plan is to get the people in first and then it becomes the economy of numbers. I mean, what we have from the beginning uh, sold the e-learning. Uh, we are adding more products, but from the beginning we had the e-learning. And e-learning was the property Correct. learnings and what else? The property. And there is some That's social it. media training as well as uh, in that one, but it's a... Uh, you guys do it. media training too? Yeah. Um, right. From the beginning, we had the real estate in uh, uh, education. Yeah, yeah. All right, any other pickups from the side? So the, the question that I'm getting here from my producer is, is it a matter of semantics where we use different words to actually describe the same thing in the end? What are we describing? What, what do you mean? 
we're describing that there are tiers, we're describing that people put money in, we're describing that in the end, we are banking on an economy of scale, which is why you do need this to work. Uh, I mean, as because without the scale, you've got nothing, right? As uh, we discussed before, we, we launched uh, and we still have the e-learning system. Uh, so from the beginning, we sold a product. People are not investing because we're not investment uh, opportunity. We're not selling any type of financial products or services. And you will only earn money on the product sales, the, the, from the margins of the product sales. All types of bonuses come from there. You can't just uh, come in and join and don't do anything. You need to work in the in the in the system in the scheme to be able to to earn money to sell products to refer recommend products to others uh, etc and the allegation is that you've got these mickey mouse products that nobody really needs and using that as a guise to continue with what is being termed a scheme here in south africa that's the allegation I mean, as I mentioned before, we are in discussions with all the relevant authorities to clarify everything around uh, our products and our business model. Do both of you understand what effect we've had in terms of COVID in South Africa? People are unemployed, people don't have money, people are desperate for some kind of future. And the allegation is that as far as COVID is concerned, I mean, as far as Cloud One is concerned, the allegation is that as far as Cloud One is concerned, we're pushing a dream and it may not work out if you don't get your economies of scale. That's not a joke for us. I mean, of course, I mean, it, it's extremely serious and I've been in, I'm in contact every single day with people from South Africa and from the rest of Africa. Uh, I spoke to our lawyer the other day who had a close relative passing away. So we are definitely taking this serious. Uh, we are, as I believe, this is a great type of business for anyone since it's possible to join without the education you don't need to be grown up in a uh, with a different type of background anyone can join uh, this type of business you see but what is your core because in the end you either collect money from people or you have these amazing products which you don't have you don't have amazing products you guys are not selling gold you're not selling something that's so fantastic that people want to buy into. And I think that's where the confusion comes from. I think we have amazing products. Life Trend is a tremendous product. And especially when you when we could see the margins that we are uh, able to divide into customer uh, discount into the uh, spread into the commission plan to all the affiliates that we have. Uh, that part is a tremendous and the interesting thing here is that independently of where in the world you are doing the business you're paid equally so even the person that uh, is working in the in a in a country with a, a lower buying power earns the same as a person in a country with a much higher so i just want to summarize in terms of the products your the e-learning portal uh you're talking property in a time when nobody's buying property to be honest with you um, and that's the only product that you have there in terms of the magazine perhaps it is a high end i haven't seen it all i know is that magazines have closed down in south africa alone not much interest or appetite for that right now mm -hmm. your booking portal nobody's flying anyway because of lockdown your safety app in south africa i think we can deal with our safety issues relatively well by ourselves there needs to be buying there and then a preview i don't know those are your products we have five products and uh, so far we have been able to uh, share these ones uh, all over the world uh, we are extremely happy about these ones and of course this is it's important to remember we have not been around for that long uh, we have we five products now and there will of course come more products uh, but we are extremely comfortable with the ones we have and we will continue pushing these ones and educate people about these ones. So why did you not come up with the products first? As I said and earlier, then... we, we can't come up with the products, the attractive products before we had a critical mass of the crowd, of the affiliates. So it's the hen and the egg discussion. It's like Uber, it's like Airbnb. If there is not enough of uh, interest of 
rooms to rent, hotels, is they, if there's no, don't enough hotels that is connected to hotels, no one will use hotels. Uh, no one will use Uber if there is, ain't cars in the market. No one will come to us and want to join and uh, provide the products through our crowd if we ain't enough people. So it's uh, pretty simple that way. Are you paying tax in South Africa? Uh, we don't have any income in South Africa. Okay, I need to draw pictures for this one. You say you don't have an income in South Africa, but then people are putting money into it. Where's the money going? All products that are sold are sold by third party suppliers. Crowd1 is only recommending and providing a third party companies products. So people pay other people, but you do you don't get the money. People, How do you get the money? We get the sales agent margin that we are distributing as a discount to the uh, to the consumer, to the user of the product, and then into the compensation plan. So are you getting money out of this at all? So if you are buying Safer in South Africa, you buy that from Safer. Safer pays their taxes and other things in South Africa. We get the sales commission to Crowd1, and we then use that part to, to make the compensations in the bonuses in the compensation plan. Is, is Crowd1 registered in South Africa to operate? Correct. So if you registered here, then you any money that comes into you, you pay tax, right? Any yes. money, yeah. As Joanne was mentioned before, so everything is built on partnerships, right? Yeah, guys, I'm telling you, I must be stupid. I promise you. If you're earning money in South Africa, it's coming in from South Africans, you need to pay the tax. Yes, no. Simple. Yeah. If we have income in South Africa, we are registered in South Africa and we pay tax in South Africa. And, and now do you we have are into, income in South Africa? Now we are into questions that uh, we, we, we had a mutual uh, agreement because of the holiday period in Europe that uh, we should have the questions in advance. We have been able to answer a number of them. Uh, that was not in the on the list. The exact legal structure and the setup is not a question that neither Jonathan or myself are fully okay. no, no, aware no, no. of. Guys, so we guys, can't give you the full answer. Sorry, okay. uh, you are we can get in back. South Africa. You're the CEO. You're operating in South Africa. You need to pay tax in South Africa. Plain and simple. This yes. is not a chicken or egg debate, guys. This is if you earn here, you pay tax here, and so responsibility for any company that's registered to work here. Simple question, yes or no? If we earn money in South Africa, we pay tax in South Africa. No discussion. And you are paying tax in South Africa? You are paying tax in South Africa? If we earn any money in South Africa, we are paying tax in South Africa. I don't are know how any, the legal structure in that part is. In South I don't know the numbers of the income in South Africa or not, so therefore I can't say. And to get back to the other part, Neither Jonathan and I have the full part. The, the top management is on holiday vacations. You're the CEO, right? Sorry? You're the COO. You're the COO. Yeah, but I'm not in the legal structure and the financial part of the company. Yeah. I'm, I'm the run tax operations. So the like, make sure I'm 100%. Are you earning money in South Africa? I'm not sure. I don't know exactly where we have the monetary streams coming. Because we are, as no, we I'm said, in South Africa. <laughs> you are. You wouldn't have done a launch. Come on, guys. You you are earning money in South Africa. It's a straight question. Are you paying tax or not on the money earned in South Africa? Are you up to date? Because that's easy to check. For sure. I mean, I I can uh, happily send over our uh, documents from the FRS. Okay. I think let let let's do that. Um, I'm fine. Fine. Everybody's fine. Guys, I appreciate the fact that you took time out from your warm, sunny holidays because it's freezing cold here, as you can see. It's freezing cold um, in Sweden as well, even if it's summer, I promise you. So what's the temperature there? 15 degrees, 17 degrees. It was oh, a little bit warmer. Oh, that's today. our winter. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's why we're here. It's All right, guys, thank you very much. Yeah. Thank if you. we have any questions, we'll send it uh, We'll send it through, but I think we're okay for now. Yeah, okay. thank Perfect. you. Thank you very much. Yeah. You're Bye. very welcome. Right over. Bye. -bye. Bye. Bye.